All right, yo, what up? This y'all shook up. Just uh, gonna show how to, you know, do the IQ software. Obviously, you gotta go to IQ and download it through um, for the app. Sorry about that squeaky noise. Get me out of the way. If you're wondering why I look exactly the same as my strike back video, I pretty much make three videos and then because I won't have any other time to make them. So here's the issue with this app. Let's make this bigger. A lot of people, let me get me down. Oh, how did I do? Get me out of the way. I don't know this. I don't even know where to be on the screen. That's funny. All right. So a lot of people have problems with this app. And it like keeps, like when you unplug it here, let me unplug it. I'm going to plug it back in. And then it might not pop up. So I have to unplug it, plug it back in. It's kind of stupid. Or in this case, it popped up. Now, because I didn't reset my computer and I didn't close down the app, it doesn't pop up. You know, save. The thing is, is you have mapping, which you can just right click on that and you could change whatever you want then you have hardware mapping which i don't play around with at all like zero um the only mapping i use is this one the hardware mapping i don't even bother touching because this shit will glitch out so i always do just regular mapping that's it and um you know like this see profile complex for some odd reason it's just this has some sort of conflict and you have to play with it like minimized like you literally cannot play with this so it's not a fix this is just explaining to you guys if you're gonna get this controller be ready for that because it's very frustrating um it, it's like it's something in the software so you have to minimize it when you play and you know i let me try to close let me try to close this down I, I didn't close it completely so I think yeah see so when I po it pops back up it, you know but it will hit this little save thing right here and then you gotta it's gonna say all oh, right you just gotta write and the profile thing I just kept it on this one and I just used the mapping so anytime it sucks I want to switch if I want if I'm gonna play Fortnite normally I'll use d-pad where is it? And then, boom. All right, but if I want to play ESO, boom. And then I just go here, go to home, go back, double check it, and just minimize it. So, obviously, that is probably the worst video that anybody can make because of how stupid the IQ software sh shit is, but this is the, you know, so that, that's how you switch. Like it, 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 I'm trying to keep it simple. That's just how you switch stuff. How do you save? How do you do all that? I don't really know. Cause it always glitches it out. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. So, but I'm just letting people know if you buy this controller, that's what you're going to run into because I didn't even know that. I had bought this, sold it because I kept wanting to use my strike pack, but then bought it back because, to be honest, the filling for this controller is, like, so precise. So, if you're having troubles with the IQ software, everybody is. Um, that's how I would switch the buttons. Just click on them, minimize the thing, you know. I know it kind of sucks for a, you know, $140 controller, but guess it is what it is so all right guys we'll definitely appreciate the support and uh i'll see you guys next time out